After eight seasons in Atlanta, the Flames relocated to Calgary for the 1980-81 season. It's just a tremendous thing, of course. Last year, the Edmonton Oilers joined the National Hockey League, and everybody was wondering when the city of Calgary was going to get a franchise. Southern Alberta welcomed a team in the midst of 16 consecutive trips to the Stanley Cup playoffs, a streak that would be extended through the 1990-91 season. The first season in Calgary was a successful one, with Kent Nielsen producing a franchise record 131 points. The Flames, who had never won a postseason series, went on to oust both the Chicago Blackhawks and Philadelphia Flyers before losing in the semifinals. These fans now feel that this is their team, and they're really getting worked up about hockey. Following that success, General Manager Cliff Fletcher continued to build the roster through additions of veterans such as Lanny McDonald, Doug Riseborough, and Joe Mullen in trades, and prospects like Mike Vernon, Al McInnes, Gary Souter, and Joe Neuendijk in the draft. Neuendijk going for the net, he scores! In 1985-86, Coach Bob Johnson guided the Flames on a thrilling postseason run that ended with the franchise's first Stanley Cup final appearance. Two seasons later, Calgary earned the President's Trophy as the NHL's top regular season team. With the acquisition of Doug Gilmore and the emergence of youngsters Theo Fleury and Gary Roberts, they repeated the feat in 1988-89 with a franchise best 117 points. Well, certainly we've made a, a lot of changes over the last couple of years and uh, everything seems to be gelling together right now. In the postseason, the Flames dispatched the Vancouver Canucks, Los Angeles Kings, and Chicago Blackhawks on their way to the Stanley Cup Final, where in a rematch from 1986, their opponents would be the Montreal Canadiens. In the final, Vernon provided spectacular goaltending, while forwards Mullen and Gilmore and defenseman McInnes, who would be awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy, powered the offense. In Game 6, Lanny McDonald, who was reinserted into the lineup by coach Terry Crisp after sitting out the previous three contests, scored the most memorable and final goal of his Hall of Fame career. And the Flames closed out the series to win the franchise's first Stanley Cup. The Calgary Flames are the Stanley Cup champion. It's way better than I ever thought of the team. Two of the Flames' all-time greats, winger Jerome McGinley, the franchise leader in goals and points, and goaltender Mika Kiprasov, the leader in wins, along with a sea of red, inspired Calgary's third and most recent trip to the Stanley Cup Final in 2004.